Hi there, my name is Alice and today I bring you several idioms with body parts. They are so easy to remember so I recommend you learn them by heart and start utilizing them right now. And if you are planning to take an English exam, I wish you break a leg. Oh, 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 don't worry, I don't want you to hurt yourself. To break a leg, it's our first idiom and it means good luck. So you can use this idiom in the context of performance or theater. For example, I have a big audition tomorrow, so wish me luck. Oh, break a leg in your performance. The next idiom we're going to look at today is B2 idiom, to keep an eye on. To keep an eye on means to watch, to control or to monitor something closely. For example, can you keep an eye on the oven while well, pop up for a minute? The next idiom is to give someone a hand. To give someone a hand means to help someone. For example, hey, can you give me a hand with this heavy box? Or if you are studying English with this video, I will give you a hand so you can learn more idioms in English. The next idiom, the next phrase is to keep your chin up. To keep your chin up means to stay positive or optimistic in a difficult situation. For example, I know things are tough right now, but try to keep your chin up. So I understand that you're going through difficulties, but you need to stay optimistic. The next phrase we're going to look at today is to twist someone's arm. To twist someone's arm means to pursue, to convince someone to do something they don't want to do. For example, I really didn't want to go to the party, but my friends twisted my arm and convinced me to go. So I didn't want to go, but my friends made me change my mind, so they convinced me to go to the party. The next phrase is quite old-fashioned, but it's still useful. To let your hair down. To let your hair down means to relax or to be yourself. For example, I've been so stressed out lately, I think I just need to let my hair down and have some fun. The next idiom I'll bring you today is C2 idiom, to play by ear. To play by ear means to improvise, to make decisions as you go along without any specific plan. For example, we don't have any set agenda for the day, so let's just play it by ear and see where the day takes us. The next idiom is to give someone the cold shoulder. To give someone the cold shoulder is to intentionally ignore or snub someone. For example, I don't know why she's giving me the cold shoulder, I thought we were friends. When somebody is giving you the cold shoulder, it's not a nice feeling. And the next phrase we are going to look at today is C1 idiom, to face the music. To face the music is to accept the consequences of someone's action. For example, I know I messed up, now it's time for me to face the music and make the things right. I hope you found this video useful for you and if you are planning to take an English exam, good luck, break a leg and see you next time. Bye bye for now.